Welcome back to Granbury TV, everyone. It's time for another Sheriff's Report here. How are you doing, Sheriff? Doing good. So, um, I have heard that the EOC is done and you guys have moved in, is that right? Yep, um, we've got everybody pretty well moved in. Uh, the IT department, I think, is still working on transferring over equipment. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not 100% total operation, but uh, uh, the offices, everybody's in their offices now. Mm -hmm. and. In the, the room itself, the emergency operations center, we've got temporary tables in there, we've got phones in there, um, so it's slowly coming together. The official grand opening is going to be March 22nd on a Saturday. Awesome. And we're supposed to have the tables come in, conference tables and the other tables, um, hopefully the week, uh, the March 13th, and that's on a Thursday, so hopefully it'll be there sometime that week or at least at the end of that week so we can get it everything in and hooked up and totally finished up before the 22nd but um, I think if we had something we had to do over there we're ready. Awesome well uh, we look forward to it hopefully we can be there on the 22nd and uh, kind of do some filming so that the folks at home can see what it looks like. Um, I know I'm excited to see what it looks like with everything in there. Um, yeah. so. the IT director he we had a meeting in there for the local emergency planning committee meeting on Wednesday and um, he turned on all the different monitors and the smart boards and we were using things and um, it's going to be pretty amazing how high tech it is. So Nice. Well, we look forward to it and uh, we're excited for you guys. So, awesome. Well, let's get into it. What do you have for us uh, to talk about from this week? Well, we've got some thefts and we've got drugs and... A little bit of this and that. So. Okay, well, let's hear about it. Okay. Well, on the 26th at around 3.30 p.m., the deputies arrested Christina Nicole Happy, a 21-year-old, for possession of a controlled substance. That's a state jail felony and bond was set at 3500 at the 4500 block of Carter Court. Deputies were assisting CPS on an investigation, and Happy was found to be in possession of under a gram of meth. Happy is also had a drug paraphernalia warrant for her arrest and that's a class C misdemeanor fine of $500 so uh, she is currently in jail so that's not good to have a CPS thing that was because of some issues with the kids and and drugs so yeah no he was caught again so that doesn't go over too well with CPS no I wouldn't think so <laughs> And we had a boyfriend and a girlfriend go to jail over theft on the 24th around 11:30 a.m. The Hood County Constable's Office, in Precinct 4, Deputy Constable arrested, um, assisted the Hood County Sheriff's deputies by arresting Paige Alexandra Lynn Mann. She's 19 years old at a fast food restaurant at the 1100 block of South Morgan Street on a theft warrant, felony three, and the bond was set at ten thousand dollars. Her boyfriend, Alex. Quasum, 28 years old, came to the jail at 1.30 to check on bonding her out, but he was arrested on theft warrant too, felony three, and bond was set at $10,000, so they both went to jail. The charges stemmed from a theft case where the suspects were allegedly stealing jewelry, jewelry from a victim that lives on, in the 1900 block of Green Wings Drive between February and May of 2013 last year. So, anyway, they... I think they both bonded out of jail now, but um, they spent some time in there. Sounds like they did. <laughs> so they got some problems. And then we had a underage drinking party um, that we got eight people arrested from, from that. On the 22nd at around 1.30 a.m., uh, deputies responded to a 1500 block of Corona Drive reference to an underage drinking party. Deputies arrested eight people in connection to drinking or possessing, possessing alcohol and possession of marijuana. 21-year-old male was charged with furnishing alcohol to a minor, a Class A misdemeanor and bond was set at 3,000. 20-year-old male charged with furnishing alcohol to a minor, a Class A misdemeanor bond at 3,000. And consuming alcohol, third or more, Class B misdemeanor and bond was 3,000. 19-year-old female charged with consumption of, of a minor, Class C misdemeanor fine was 220. 17-year-old male charged with minor in possession of alcohol, Class C misdemeanor fine was $205. 19-year-old male charged with consuming alcohol third or more, 
Class B misdemeanor bond was three thousand. Eighteen-year-old male charged with possession of marijuana. Class B misdemeanor bond was twenty-five hundred. A nineteen-year-old male charged with possession of marijuana. Class B bond was set at twenty-five hundred. Consumption of a minor. Class C fine was three hundred and twenty. And possession of drug paraphernalia. Class C misdemeanor and fine was two hundred and five dollars. So, and a 20-year-old male, possession of marijuana, Class B misdemeanor, bond 2500 and consumption of a minor, that was a Class C, fine was $220, so they were all bonded out of, of jail, but so, um, you know, we, that stuff can get you into a lot of trouble and, and cost you a lot of money, too. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that night was a crazy night. We had the computer system had a glitch, and... Uh, they called me at about 8 and said, we got people trying to bond these people out and we can't even get them booked in in the first place. So mm -hmm. we got that fixed, cleared up pretty quick, short order. And so they were booked in, took their pictures, did the paperwork, got them bonded out. So, uh, Well, sounds like uh, you guys have been busy. <laughs> Yeah, there's always something going on around here. So. I have to agree. Um, well, let's hear about our Crime Stoppers Crime of the Week. All right. Well, this week we've got a Crime Stoppers. Um, we need information on a burglary of a habitation. This burglary was reported on February 15, 2014, in the 7600 block of Hayworth Highway. Unknown suspects entered the residence and took several items. Stolen items included a set of night vision goggles, a pair of Steiner binoculars, various ammunition, a 30-30 Winchester rifle, a 20-gauge shotgun, two fishing bows, and one fishing crossbow. So the total value of the burglary is $4,970. Anyone with information on this burglary of a habitation is asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 817-573-TIPS, or you may go online at the Hood County Crime Stoppers website, hoodcountycrimestoppers.com. Um, to submit a tip online, text tip to tip 129 plus your message to 274637. All tips remain anonymous. Upon arrest and indictment, you could receive up to a $1,000 reward. So this isn't a good one. I, it's bad when people break into residence, but when they steal stuff that could hurt people, mm -hmm. guns, ammunition, all of that, um, that's bad because we yeah. don't know where it's at or who's using it for what, and um, so it it causes problems out there for the citizens, and it causes problems for the law enforcement trying to track this stuff down. So uh, we need to get this back to the rightful owners and make sure it's not used for anything bad out there. I agree, definitely. Well, hopefully somebody out there at home has some information for you guys, and you guys can get that stuff back and bring that uh, person to uh, justice. So. So. Well, we uh, we hope that this weekend is good for you guys. I know this weekend's the Texas Independence Day celebration, so hopefully that goes good and for you guys. I know it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be like 80 today, 80 on Saturday, and it's supposed to rain Sunday. <laughs> rain so. and get cold. So. Yes, and get cold. Yeah. So it should be good for tomorrow down there on the square. I know i got to start my day out I'm at a homeowners association meeting. I go to as many of those as I can, and you know, when anybody has any questions, that's always easiest to talk before a group like that. So mm -hmm. um, I'm always happy to come out and, and meet with people, and so we're going to be at the Oak Trail Shores Homeowners Association meeting tomorrow. But I can't stay long so because i got to get to the get to the square for the parade. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to be bringing up the rear like I did last year. I'm going to have some inmates out there so we can keep the roads clean. <laughs> I know there's going to be a number of horses in the parade. So, yes. Um, we'll be bringing up the rear, cleaning things up. Awesome. Well, <laughs> we hope you have a good weekend and hopefully you get to enjoy the, uh, the nice weather for two days at least. Um, and uh, I guess we will see you next week. I'll be back. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me.